Hey friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to work on the login functionality. So as you can see that I'm currently present in the login.go file and uh, in this uh, uh, video I will work on this file because previously I have worked on the sign up uh, for file as you can see but uh, in this video I'm going to work on the login functionality. But before this I want to update some kind of uh, uh, data here in the uh, signup.go file and that is to write some kind of print statement because I have forgotten it so I will write you are you have you have successfully created an account all right so this is a thing that I have forgotten so in the this uh, this is the update and after that let's go to the login and close this sign up and after that what I will do I will first of all make a function in this uh, login.go file and write function compare passwords all right compare passwords so in this uh, uh, compare passwords I will write uh, what you can say uh, is the email sorry is the hash pass and uh, after that that will be the string and uh, the next uh, uh, variable is the plain pass so that would be a byte all right and give the returning value boolean and once it is written I will write a byte Mm, let's say what you can say that uh, hash byte and hash byte is equal to inside this byte I will write hash password and once it is converted I will write if error is not equal is equal to what you can say is the bcrypt compare and hash and password and I will write hash byte and then the plain pass all right so let's write error is not equal to nil then log fatal error so sorry return false all right so after that what i will write i will write oh return true here all right so basically this will uh, i will give a hash password all right and this will convert a password into the uh, byte value all right and once it is converted into the byte value that byte value and the plain password or the mm, or the original password will be compared all right so this is the hash password that i will convert it to the byte value and this byte value will be compared with this uh, original password and if they are matched then uh, uh, it will show me the true message and if they are not matched then it will uh, show me the false message all right so this is a uh, first function that i have written it and i will use it in this login functionality but before using it i will first of all make another function also by and that will be inside the redis directory let's make a file by the name of get.go and i have told you previously that i have set these credentials and tokens so what i will do i will uh, get these credentials also because after setting up in the signup.go file as you can see i will get these values also so that the login functionality will identify the these values that are signed up and with the help of these credentials a user can easily log in all right are they once a user signs up and after that the credentials will be saved inside this redis database and if you want to get the values of the sign up user in the login you can use the redis and you can call it here all right after calling it if the data is available to you here then you a user can easily access it all right so let's make a function first of all by in the go uh, get.go file and let's uh, close this and first write a package by the name of redis and inside this i will write get credentials all right let's write it uh, what you can say mm, i give the returning values like uh, a string and again this uh, string all right and this string is basically an array, array. so true string arrays and the next uh, variable is the boolean so these three uh, very data types will be returned and the first thing that i will do i will write let's say client and let's say redis connect all right so this is the function that uh, i created in my previous video if i take a look at this setup set.go this is the function all right so i will call this function because you need to connect to the redis then after uh, you can get the credentials and set the credentials also so after that what i will do i will write uh, let's say uh, get emails and that would be uh, the variable and write another variable by the name of error and once these two variables are written i will write l range all right sorry client 
client dot l range inside it what i will write i will give the emails and the zero and the another zero so i will tell you what the what does it mean so first write result all right so basically if you go to the set.go file you can see that these are the keys all right emails and passwords and these are the values that i have set it all right if i take you to the signup.go file as you can see that uh, inside it these are the keys uh, sorry these are the keys and values that i have set it this is the email this is the password and uh, the email was previously set uh, let's go to the set because the email was previously set and the um, password was set also but these are the keys that i didn't mention in the uh, signup.go file because uh, where is this uh, yes this was the key this was a key and this was a uh, value and i also uh, i just mentioned these values uh, i didn't mention the keys in the signup.go file if you can take a look at this, this these are the values that i mentioned all right and the keys are not mentioned because I have already mentioned it here. So I will call these keys in the get.go file. All right. So based on these keys, the values will be returned that I have already set it. So let's write the get password also because I have already set the password. So I will write get password and uh, error uh, variable. And after that, L range. All right. So L range inside it, I will write passwords. All right. And basically this zero and zero, what does it mean? So first of all, let's write it result. If you take a look at this L range inside it, you can see that the first one is the key. As you can see, I have called the key emails and the passwords. And the second one is the, the second zero is the starting, uh, starting sign. All right. So let's take a look at this. So it will start the, uh, all the emails that are stored in a list. All right. So from zero, the index will be starting from a zero. So all the emails that will start from the first or the zero will be starting from here and the next zero is to stop. All right. So I will just uh, take um, take the first email and if there are multiple emails saved in the Redis database, then I can change these numbers. All right. And I will show you how you can change it once I uh, first of all create an account. And uh, after that, I will change this number and you can get multiple uh, values in it. All right. So after that, let's write if error is not equal to nil then what you can say is to uh, return and this would be the first array string that would be empty because if there are error and the second empty string and after that the false value all right so after if the error is found then don't give these values instead give the result false but if the result is successful then what you can say then uh, return the values like uh, uh, get emails get password sorry get passwords and after that uh, give the uh, boolean return true all right so this is how you can get the credentials and once it is done what you can do is to close this because i don't need it now and once this is done i will move to the mysql database and uh, inside it i will create a file also by the name of find.go because i also need to find the data that is uh, present in the mysql database all right so what i will do i will write mysql package and inside it i will write function uh, find account all right and find account will basically find the uh, account uh, me with the help of my email and password and that will be string and after that let's uh, return the values and the first value is the uh, email the second value will be the um, password and the third value will be the boolean all right so the true or the false statement so it will return two statements email and password and the boolean statement and i will give the email and password based on these emails and password they will judge it and after that if it is found then uh, it will return it otherwise it will give me an error so what I need to do, I will write DB is equal to connect because I have already created these, uh, this function. If you take a look at the insert.go file and uh, if you take a look at the connect, sorry, connect, you can see that this is a creative function. This is the connect function. All right. So I already created it. And after that, what you can do is to make a, uh, give the variables. And before giving a variable, I need to um, make a structure. So I will write type. Uh, user credentials 
user credentials and that would be the struct and inside it what i will write um, i will write email sorry email that would be string and password that would also be string all right so these are the two variables that i will give but uh, in order to give it i will write variable uc and that uc variable will be equal to the user credential structure as you can see here so once it is done what i will do i will write a query and that would be the q variable inside it what i will do select sorry let's give it a oh, uppercase select mm, emails emails passwords uh, from uh, what you can say sign up and uh, where sorry where emails is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark also so i will give these uh, emails a password what will be these emails and password so basic, basically this is a query it will uh, get the emails and the password based on these emails and password that i will give here all right so i will uh, mention these here so what can i do i will write if error is equal to what you can say db query uh, query row inside it i will write the, mention the query and the email and password also because i need to give these emails and password in the query so that it can be given and it can be uh, fetched or uh, find the data based on these email and password and scan this ampersand uc email and password all right so uc email and password so based on these emails and password the value will be updated uh, uh, value will be fetched all right so let's write uh, what you can say uh, return the uh, empty string then again empty string and then the false statement all right and uh, after that let's return it uh, what will be the um, value like uh, email password or true so this will be the statement if they are successfully uh, fetched then it will give me this uh, data all right so now it is done these three functionalities are done the first one is the compare password that will compare the hash password with the plain password all right so the plain password will be anything and the hash password will be in a hash value and after that the get credentials that i will get it from the redis database and from the sql database i will also find the account so let's apply these changes here so what i will do i will keep these things uh, deleted because i don't need it let's say and i will use them here so first of all what i will write i will write redis sign up uh, for uh, redis sign up let's say email and redis what you can say redis sign up um password so these are the variables and redis uh redis sign up found all right after that once these variables are returned what i will write i will get this uh, credential all right so there are three variables uh redis sign up password email redis sign up password and the uh what you can say this is the redis sign up found the boolean value and uh, let's write redis get credentials mm, what you can say get credentials all right so this is the email string this is the string a list string and this is the boolean value and once it is written what i can say i will write the token string and uh, the next would be uh, jwt token generated that would be equal to uh, jwt generate jwt all right so if a user signs up if a user login then another token will be generated all right in the previous video i have shown you that how you can generate a token in this uh, if you sign up but if you log in again then it will generate a new token for you so that uh, um, that token will be replaced the sign up token will be replaced and the new token will be uh, attached to it all right so after that what you will do i will add for loop is i is equal to zero and i smaller than uh, let's say one and i plus plus inside it what i will write if sorry my sql account i have forgotten about it my sql uh, what you can say email uh, my sql password and uh, the next one is the my sql form right. and that would be equal to my sql uh, what you can say find account all right so inside this find account i will give the email and password so what would be the email i will give the email login email 
and the password would be redis password redis sign up password and that would be i so basically this redis sign up password will contain a lot of password a list of password that i have shown you if i open this set password uh, that would be equal to redis set credentials and get all right so this is a based on the get credentials so if i open the get.go file as you can see that it contains a list of emails and passwords so from these list of emails and password sorry I don't know why it is giving me these things so basically based on these emails and password that I have mentioned it based uh, the one of the email will be taken and uh, it will be uh, it will be present here in the uh, find.go account all right so sorry the find account in the MySQL database all right the email will be the login email and the password will be basically saved uh, as, a, as a ready sign up password that will be get in the get credentials so I won't uh, put this password here, uh, login sign password, because that will be uh, basically what you can say. That will be our ordinary password like one, two, three. But this Redis password will be a hash value. All right. So uh, I have shown you in the previous video that uh, the hash values will be stored in the uh, MySQL database. So the Redis sign up password will contain the same hash password, and that uh, hash sign up uh, hash sign up password will be uh, matched, and that uh, that will basically with the help of this password the uh, account will be identified all right so i hope you understood this redis sign up password contain the hash value not the ordinary password so that's why i have written this hash password i have not mentioned the login password because the login password may be one two three or five, five, uh, any password that you will write in ordinary uh, numbers or uh, text so i have just written the hash password here so all right so i hope you understood and after that once the account is found and i have written three variables here that i will uh, use it once the account is found what i will write i will compare the uh, compare these things like the uh, hash password and the um, ordinary password because without comparing them i can uh, go on and it will not uh, check it for me so i need to compare them and then after when after comparison they will be accepted and if it is not um, compared or if it is not accepted then it will give me an error so what i will write i will say compare passwords and inside this as you can see that this is the hash string and the plain string plain pass so what i will do i will write the hash password mm, hash pass uh, what you can say is the all right so this is the login pass uh, login password with the uh, redis sign up password all right so I have mentioned to you that the sign up, uh, Redis sign up password is in the uh, hash value and the uh, login password is basically in the ordinary uh, string or the ordinary number. So these two passwords will be compared and based on the comparison, the uh, I, it will allow me to uh, pass further. All right. So go further. And after that, once the password is compared, I will compare another value also that would be like uh, what you can say. Um, redis uh, sorry all right so this is the password uh, mysql password should also be matched login password and the mysql password should also be matched all right so this is the thing that i need to uh, show you that the login password with the mysql password will be matched similarly the login password with the redis sign up password will be matched so if they both are equal and the, if both of them are matched then it will be acceptable and I can go on further after that what I need to do is to write let's say uh, what I need I, I will write another if statement and inside this if statement what I will write I will write uh, redis sign up found if the redis sign up found and because these are the variables that I have mentioned redis sign up found and the JWT token generated all right and what you can say um, another variable that's the mysql mysql form all right so if mysql is also found so these three things should be found redis sign up found jwt token is generated and the mysql data is also found and i have checked the emails that the email would be pa uh, two password will be matched and the login password will be equal to the redis sign up password uh, these things but i have not checked the what you can say and the emails because the email should also be equal so what i will do i will uh, check the emails of the mysql with the 
login email all right so the mysql contain a kind of email that uh, that is present so i will compare it with the login email so what i will do i will say login email is equal to uh, what you can say the redis uh, mysql email or right? and after that if the redis if the login email is also equal to the uh, redis sign up email all right so let's give it basically the redis sign up email contains a list of emails so it will be compared with this mysql email so any of the emails that will be fetched will be compared to this login email so if both of them are matched then it will allow me so after that the next thing is to um, uh, once these two if statements are accepted i will give it a message like print statement you have uh, you are successfully uh, successfully logged in all right so these are the things that you need to keep in mind and once it, this message is written i will also before writing this e message i will also what you can say a uh, generated token string and this token string will be saved in the login token so if i have shown you in the sign up go file as you can see that the login token was stored and i will again store this login token because this time person is logged in and there will be another token that i have generated here and this token will be uh, saved there instead of this sign up token all right so this is the thing that you need to keep in mind and i will write redis uh, new token and inside this i will write uh, login token sorry login token and once this login token is uh, given here like token string this will be a new token and now you can see that it is giving me an error sorry i have mentioned i have not mentioned the name here and inside of a new token i will write set token i have forgotten about it so this token will be set and now i can call this token and based on this token a person can log in also all right so a new token will be generated so after that i will break this because i have written the if statement so this uh, so that uh, the um, functionality does not repeat itself I will give the is else statement also fmt print line errors and new error and inside this I will write invalid credentials and that would be let's say uh, invalid or no credentials let's say it. no credentials uh, try it again try out again and break this also and after that let's give it an else statement uh, let's copy this statement and uh, i will paste copy this and paste in the this if statement also because it is also an if statement so i will give the else statement so now all right so let me uh, show you and explain it to you again so that you can better understand it so first of all i uh, get the credentials that i have already set in the signup.go file as you can see and once these credentials are get they will be get with the help of emails and password so these are the keys and the this is the starting point this is the ending point if there is only one email or one password so if there are multiple emails then i need to change this uh, zero uh, to one or three and i will show you and after that you can find the account by giving the email and password and i have written a function by the name of compare password so basically it will convert them compare the hash password with the plain password so if both of them are compared then it will pass uh, it will move on so i have used these functionalities like redis sign up email redis sign up password and redis sign up uh, form so this is basically based on the get credential so it will get the credential based on the emails and password that i have written before in the sign up.go file and once this e, uh, sign up red, uh, password and sign up email is uh, gotten then what you can do is to generate another token a jwt token and after that i will uh, write uh, a for loop and that would be zero one because i just need one email and password one credentials one account data uh, similar like uh, here that i have given only one so i will change this if statement also if i want to if there are multiple credentials after that it, uh, i will found the, uh, find the account in the mysql database so what is the data that is present so login email and the redis sign up password so basically the redis sign up password contain the hash values so if i take a look at the mysql as you can see that the mysql contains 
So MySQL database contains this hash value password. All right, and this is the password. This is the hash. Value. So uh, this Redis signup data contains the same hash password. So that's why I have find the account based on this email and the hash password, not on the ordinary password like one two three. All right. After that, what you can do is to first of all let's do this like this. And uh, once it is done, what you can uh, what you can do is to first of all write the if statement by comparing the login password with the Redis signup password. All right. So the login password will be. A one two three and this one two three will be compared with the hash values that is already signed password and similarly the login password will also be compared with the mysql password that i have uh, that i will get in the this variable all right once these passwords are compared then what i will draw it i will write another if statement if redis sign up found jwt token generated mysql data is found and the login email is equal to the mysql email and the login email is also equal to the MySQL signup email. All right. So Redis, sorry, Redis signup email. So if both of these emails are equal, then what you can do is to generate another token that is that was already generated and just save it in the uh, set token Redis. So in, in this way, a new token will be saved instead of the signup token that was uh, saved here. After that. What you can do is to uh, give it a message like you are successfully logged in and uh, if there is uh, an error then you can write it like invalid or no credentials try it again and similarly write the error message here invalid uh, no credentials try it again. So let's save this and after that let's uh, save it also here let's go to the uh, get or go save all of them and after that what you can do is to write go install and it will give me no error after that what i will write pro ctl sign up e and uh, once it is written e i will write an email uh, in, uh, bilal at the gmail.com and password would be one two oh, sorry one one two two all right and uh, full name would be like bilal khan and account would be bilal all right so let's click on this. Now you can see that this message was, is appeared that uh, was previously not uh, present that you, are, you have successfully created an account. If I take a look at this, uh, let's uh, select from sign up. As you can see that this is the data that is now created and now inserted in it. After that, if I write pro CTL, uh, sign up, no, sorry, login, because I have not uh, worked on the logout functionality that I will be working on in the upcoming video, but I'm just trying to show you that how you can log in, although it is still logged in, but I'm just showing you because I have not worked on the uh, log, logout account. So what I will write, I will write sign, login, proceed here, login e, Bilal, dot, uh, Bilal at the regional.com and after the password is the 1122 so basically this 1122 will be compared with the with this password as you can see that i have already this login password 1122 will be compared with the redis sign up password all right and the login password will also be compared with the mysql password that is this all right so let's press enter this invalid or uh, credentials let's try it again why it is giving me an error i don't know sorry about the mistake that I have made it here as you can see that uh, this login password should be at the end and the ready sign up password should be at the first uh, um, of the compare passwords so I need to write it like this first of all let's remove this I remove this all all right ready sign up password uh, ready sign up password and then write I and then the login password like this all right so the login password should be the end and uh, should be at the end and the already sign up password should be at the first all right similarly the mysql password should be the at the first and the login password should be at the end so mysql password and the login password now this will work fine and uh, let's remove this dot dot because i just uh, did it so let's install go install and after one uh, it is installed i will write the same email and password again as you can see that you are successfully logged in all right so this is how it will work and uh, this is how uh, it will done so let's clear this and after that let's make another account like uh, this one if i let's change the data here from bilal khan to hello all right and the uh, 1122 should be like uh, 
two and three three four four all right and Bilal Khan should be replaced with hello uh, world all right and the Bilal, Bilal will be hello so let's click on this as you can see that you have successfully created an account if I sorry if I click on this you can see that there are two accounts that are now present here the hello world and the Bilal Khan that was previously present but here is a catch so let's clear this and if I uh, log in like this 1122 you will see that it is giving me invalid or no credentials why because it is now this time accepting this hello world if I similarly if I show it to you like hello hello and instead of writing 1122 I will write 3344 as you can see that you are successfully logged in but this was one not working all right so it means that the newly generated account will be working or the and the previous account will not work so how to tackle this problem so basically i want to add all of these two accounts into the uh, into log uh, into the login functionality so that both of them can log in so in order to do this i will change the number from one one to two it means that the zero uh, means the first one will be uh, accepted and the second one will ex be accepted means uh, from 0 to less than 2 it means 0 and 1 previously it was from 0 to 1 only the 0 1 value was accepted but now there will be two values that will be accepted similarly I, if I write from 0 to 1 all right this will show that only the email and password of two account will be accepted 0 and 1 previously it was only 0 to 0 it means 1 but now it will be 0 to 1 means two values will be accepted two accounts will be accepted here so if i save this and again install it sorry and uh, show it to you and this time if i write hello instead of hello if i write um, bilal you will see that it is still giving me an error i don't know why all right so i have made a mistake here so instead of writing a, uh, if statement with the uh, compare passwords, I will write a while loop. All right. So it will basically uh, be checking multiple passwords that I have written. Like as you can see that I will basically show that you need to um, uh, continue the loop until the number is reached. That is two. All right. So basically it will search the numbers. It will search the passwords from a list of password by using the for uh, while loop. All right. So I will write four. So this four is basically used for uh, uh, if uh, let's say if I take a look at this while loop, a while loop in GoLang. So let's click on this. So if I take a look at this, as you can see that the while loop will basically uh, uh, it's a for loop with the if if statement. All right. So you can. Uh, uh, use the if statement as a in the while loop but the uh, syntax for this is for condition all right so you will give the condition in a while loop but by using the for uh, for here instead of writing the while so in this tutorial we will learn to how to implement a while loop in go using the for loop with the help of examples so in go we use the while loop to execute a block of code until a certain condition is met so it will repeat a loop until a certain condition is um, uh, met all right so in this way similar in this case it will check from a number of passwords from a number of list of password until the uh, um, special password or a spe uh, or particular password is uh, reached uh, or the particular password is found so i will delete this else statement because i don't need it so that's the problem that i was facing so if i uh, go install again and uh, let's write the bilal khan email it you will see that you are successfully logged in and if i execute the hello again you will see that the uh, this email is also logged in so this is how it will work but uh, the problem that i'm facing uh, currently is that if there are let's say people are signing up and uh, uh, there are multiple emails that are uh, saved in this database 
then I need to change this number like two, three, four, five, like this. So I don't need to change this number manually and this number also. So what I will do, I will change the number automatically so that if a user sign, uh, sign up, this number uh, should be changed. So I will do this uh, process in the upcoming video because this code faced a problem also. So the, as a result, this video went too long. So I don't want to make it uh, more long also. So what I will do, uh, this problem uh, process is working fine. So I will write go, uh, sorry, get add and first of all write uh, git status you will see that these are the files that are changes that i have made in these files so i will clear this and write git add dot and git commit m uh, working on the login functionality all right so let's press enter on this you can see that now all the things are done let's write git push origin master but before uh, pressing enter on this let's go to this repository that i want to show you here the pro ctl and uh, let's click on this as you can see that this is the repository that was previously yesterday updated so i want to press enter on this now this data is now moved if i refresh this page you will see that seven commits are done and now the changes are made in these cmd and database all right so let's click on this commit working on the login functionality and if i click on this you will see that there are multiple changes that i have done in this video all right so let's mm, press uh, back go to this cmd and you will see that this is the sign up page that i have made uh, some updates here all right and similarly this is the what you can see this is the login page that i also made changes here all right these are the changes so that's awesome all right and what was the database so the database i also made some changes in the database like the mysql all right this is the find all right these are the changes go back sorry redis set and get all right these are the changes here so this is how it will work all right so i hope you understood that video so uh, if you like this video then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye